Hello all, in this video we will see the difference between SPA interface and SSI interface. So most of the engineers use SPA and SSI interchangeably but that is not the case and one has to understand the difference between them to implement them in their designs, right? SPA interface as we know is a serial interface even SSA interface is a serial interface as well and SP interface actually has a master and a slave connected by uh, the signals between them these are actually single-ended signals so SP interface we clearly know right we have um, clock signal we have chip select signal we have um, data in signal and data out signal so uh, and we can connect multiple devices as well uh, and in SP interface we also know that the master generates the data, uh, generates the clock and also asks queries to slave and then slave responds or uh, um, data gets written to slave accordingly as per the input from master. Now when it comes to SSI interface, SSI stands for synchronous serial interface. So in SSI interface, we have master as well as slave again, but this is actually a differential interface. One difference when compared to the SP interface is that um, in this interface, uh, master generates the clock as like SP interface, but actually data can be sent by slave uh, once the clock is available. So um, no, no need to master, uh, no need for the master to ask for any queries. Um, the, the slave can um, generate data. This actually is a differential interface and can be single ended as well. Um, so one difference could be is that uh, here we have one data line if it is a single ended rather than in and out. That means this is a um du uh, not a full duplex system whereas spa is a full duplex system right so there are the differences as well as spa uh, between spa and ssi let us have a look at them so if we look in detail the, dif the difference between spa and ssi interface spa actually is a general purpose communication protocol so general purpose we mean memories displays um, any other sensors can be used um, to connect to the um, master using sp interface whereas ssa interface one of the simplest example of ssa interface is rs422 where we can connect <coughs> the industrial applications like if you have a simple example is encoder uh, if you want to connect encoder to um, the controller and get the data continuously from the encoder we use the ssa interface so um, definitely um, um, the sp interface is a full duplex whereas ssa interface is a half duplex because um, we have only communication uh, on uh, at a time on one side only whether from master to slave or um, slave to master actually in SSI it's only uh, from uh, mainly from uh, slave to the master where, where a sensor starts sending the data now if you see the clock synchronization both have clocks and both clocks are generated by the master whereas uh, if you consider the physical interface uh, in SPA we have clock chip select or it is also called slave select uh, miss or mostly here we have clock data and optional chip select so chip this again depends on how the slave is configured okay um, and uh, the direction wise as we said full duplex and half duplex it's uh, uh, in only at once is what uh, um, any device can communicate in SSA whereas in SPI you have <coughs> two lines uh, MISO and MOSI okay and uh, we can use definitely SPA for higher uh, speeds mm, you can also see speeds up to 80 megahertz on uh, SPA whereas uh, SSA is meant to be used for very low frequencies around 2 to 4 megahertz and uh, mm, you you have <laughs> clock polarity and clock face settings in SPA right so here in SSI it's a very simple configuration you don't have anything like that it's just uh, mm, clocking on one edge of the um, 
clock uh, clocking in data at one edge so there isn't uh, um, specifically a configuration of uh, clock phase and polarity here and <clears throat> One important point uh, in SSA is that you have inbuilt error detection, whereas SPA doesn't have any error built mechanism. Mm, and protocol wise, very simple. SSA is a very simple protocol. You don't have um, huge structure, packet structure like the um, SPA. So that's uh, another uh, like uh, um, difference between them and definitely as the um, structure is uh, deeper and uh, i mean complex uh, there are more signals there is a lot of data flowing and there is initiation from master um, and also data flowing at higher speeds the power consumption in spa is higher uh, compared to the ssi and uh, we don't see normally in our generic uh, commercial applications SSA interface. It is predominantly used for industrial applications, whereas SPA um, is a common interface in every embedded board. So these are the very high level differences between uh, SPA and SSA. Uh, and <clears throat> if you know any other points apart from this, please uh, post in the comments. Please let us know your comments about this video. Mm, subscribe to our channel, like our video. Thank you.